Hi guys, this is a really unscripted, messy video, but I just want to sit down and tell you about the maddest dream I had last night. As soon as I woke up, I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget it. And a lot of you seem to enjoy my lucid dreaming video, so hopefully you'll enjoy this as well. Uh, this wasn't a lucid dream, but it was just crazy, so let's get cracking. So this dream began with me and loads of other students, I think we were all at university, loads of other students sat on a bus or a coach and we were all headed to go and rehearse for a play that we were all in. And I seem to remember the coach ride had been really long, um, everyone was getting quite annoyed and when we finally got off it was dark outside and this rehearsal space was actually inside a cathedral and everyone was a little bit confused but I think we just assumed that whoever was running it wanted, I don't know, like a, a very quiet space to rehearse in. So we all went inside um, and then we were led down to, uh, is it the altar? The front front bit of a cathedral um, and there was a hatch in the floor and we were told to go down into the rehearsal space. So obviously people were a bit apprehensive but we went down anyway um, and we were taken into this really large uh, basement room and it was just like four grey cement walls and there was some curtains up against them um, the kind of curtains you'd get in like a photo studio or like I don't know like a drama rehearsal space I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know how to describe them but yeah so there really wasn't much in there um, but everyone just cracked on, started rehearsing for this play um, and the hours go on and on and on until somebody checks their clock and it's three in the morning. So people start freaking out and saying like, we need to go, our parents will be expecting us home, um, I need to be back for work in the morning, whatever. Um, so people start heading towards the exit, like the hatch we came in through and it won't open, it's locked. And I did forget to mention at the start, uh, this part of the dream is from my point of view, so I am one of the people trying to get out. So yeah, back to the story. Um, at this point, there's like, I don't know, 20, 30 people pulling on this ceiling hatch trying to get out. Um, and eventually it starts to come loose and prise open. And a few of us are able to get up and out of the hatch, but it doesn't take us back up into the cathedral where we came in from. It takes us up into another concrete room and, right, how do I explain this? Um, it's huge, this one, and it's got two sides to the room. Uh, both sides are different obstacle courses, but they're not normal obstacle courses, no, no. These are death obstacle courses, woo! <laughs> so it's kind of like, um, what's that TV programme called? Uh, Total Wipeout, yeah. Um, it's like that, if you don't know what it is, search it on YouTube, it's funny. Um, yeah, so Total Wipeout, it's like that, but instead of falling into the water with these, it's just a big black pit underneath, um, and if you fall off, you die. So past these two obstacle, I have to say it's slow because I can't get it out. What's another word for obstacle course? Um, we'll call it an assault course, right? So past these two assault courses, uh, there's two older women stood on the other side and so a group of like 30 of us are just looking at them and they're looking at us and eventually one of them explains that if we want to get out of whatever this place is and go home um we have to at some point go across one of these obst <laughs> assault courses um and make it to the other side and if you can make it they'll then put you through another test and if you pass it, you can go home basically. But if you don't pass it, um, you'll get put into, well, thrown into something called the pool. And it just looked like this big swimming pool next to these two women at the end of the room. Um, I never actually found out properly what happens in the pool. <laughs> so yeah, one of the women then explains that everybody will get a chance to complete this assault course um, and the test to go home, but not everybody can try at once. We've all got to go back down into that initial room we were in and we'll be kept there for, I don't know how long, um, but every single day, I'm guessing 30 days because there about, there's about 30 of us, but every single day, everybody will be marked on their behavior. Um, 
and the person with the worst behaviour or like the most strikes on their record will be sent up to that death room basically. So I'm going to try and explain now what accounts for bad behaviour. Um, so basically the aim of this organisation or whoever is keeping all of us in this place um, is to remove any personality any of us have. I'm sure there's a film like that. Um, it's to like, is it Divergent that's like that? They're trying to like make everybody the same. Um, yeah, so they're like trying to make everyone as boring as possible. Um, so if you display any sort of originality or any fun or you talk to other sort of prisoners, um, you'll get a strike on your record. So for example, in part of the dream, um, I don't know why, but in this empty room that we're all being kept in, uh, a slot machine, like a fruit machine, appeared in the corner. Uh, I don't know, I don't know where that came from. But I, this is still in my point of view, I went over to play on this fruit machine and they had like, they have like wardens patrolling the room to make sure everybody's obeying the rules. So I went over to this fruit machine um, and this warden comes over and starts watching me. Um, and I turn around and I go, please don't give me a strike. I'll go on a boring slot, I promise. <laughs> Doesn't that just tell you how bad I am for fruit machines and stuff, lol? Yeah, so anyway, back on track. This warden is watching me and the fruit machine comes up with, well, slot machine, whatever, comes up with a screen that says, um, remember this code and type it in on the next screen to be able to play. So this massive string of numbers comes up saying like, oh, one, five, eight, seven, six, blah, 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 whatever. Something impossible to remember. So the next screen comes up. I can't remember the code. Uh, I hope this is making sense. It didn't really make sense, but yeah. I can't remember the code. I input it wrong. And so I get a strike on my record. Who knows why? I think at this point they were just trying to kill everybody off. There was also a bit where I found like a supply package uh, underneath one of the curtains uh, and it had like a blanket and I don't know, like a toothbrush in it or something. Uh, and I picked it up and a warden came past and said, where have you got that from? I was like, I just found it, please. And I got a strike for that as well. So the last bit of the dream um, kind of switches from my point of view to like me being somebody else. And I become the girl who is the first person to be sent up to like the test death room. Uh, so yeah, this girl has a really bad record, whatever, she's not obeying the rules. Uh, oh my God, I thought there was someone outside my bedroom door. <laughs> God, I nearly had a heart attack. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I become this other girl and um, she's naughty. So she gets sent up to the room, somehow passes this assault course without dying. And she is faced with these two older women at the other side of the room. And they say to her, well done, you've passed the obstacle course. Uh, it's time for your test. So they hand her this sort of like, tablet um, with a photo of herself on and they say right we know you're a makeup artist and um, we want you to make yourself look as boring as possible in this picture so she takes the tablet um, I should probably start saying I because it is kind of like from my point of view whatever yeah so she takes the tablet um, and starts working on this photograph of herself uh, and when she eventually turns it round and shows them that she's done the absolute opposite and made herself like done really, really colourful eyeshadow and like added glitter and stuff. And it's basically just a big like middle finger to them, I think. And then she just runs up to the pool and jumps in herself. And the moment she hit the water is when I woke up. So yeah, really weird dream. Um, I think that is the longest, most vivid one I've had in such a long time. And I don't know what it means. So I'm gonna go onto Google now and try and find out. So the first thing I've typed in is dream I was held in captivity. Um, I'm looking at a few sources. Apparently, if you have a dream where you've been abducted or you are held in captivity, it can signify a loss of control in your actual life or a feeling of being trapped. And I'm sorry to bring up the uh, virus thing again. I know everyone's sick of hearing about it, so I'm sorry. 
Um, but it is relevant, isn't it? That could be why I've had that dream because we are all literally trapped inside at the moment. We can't go anywhere. So that would explain that theme. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in my life that I feel held captive by. Um, I mean, I've got no money, so <laughs> maybe that. So the next thing I'm gonna Google is dream about taking a test. Right, let's see what that comes up with. Um, so they're all quite literal, really. Um, everything I'm looking at is just saying it could signify you being tested by something in real life. Lots of stuff about anxiety here. Haha, <laughs> that's something we are familiar with. Do you know what? These are all great explanations. Um, but I think I'm probably just a bit psycho because <laughs> I have dreams like this all the time. Um, and like I said, this is the longest, most vivid one I've had in ages. But all my dreams tend to be like violent and like horrible. What is wrong with me? Well, at least it makes for good content, I guess. So I think we'll leave it there for today because um, it is quite late and I kind of want to go to bed now. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this little like podcasty thing and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video, <laughs> I can never do this bit. Give this video a great big like and I would love to hear other people's dream experiences in the comments down below. I will see you all next time. Please stay safe and I hope you have nice dreams tonight. Bye.